The next learning objective is about geographic coordinate systems. Now, no, once since we know what Cartesian and spherical coordinates are and how they have been chosen to address the underlying space that we are dealing with, let's look at what geographical coordinates are. Now, geographical coordinates are a coordinate system that help us locate points on the surface of the Earth. And the question is, what is the surface of the Earth and what are we dealing with? Now, if we again, again are dealing with a small area, then it is potentially a flat surface, uh, approximately. And we can um, treat that as a small flat surface and use Cartesian coordinates on it. Nevertheless, if the area is larger, then the curvature of the Earth has to be taken into consideration. And in that case, we use spherical coordinates. And um, the azimuth angle in this case, for in, when we're dealing with geographic co coordinates, is called the longitude. And the elevation angle is called the latitude. And these are pretty standard symbols, lambda and phi, that are used to express these coordinates. Um, and so whenever we, we, we're talking about coordinates, we are also interested in where is the reference point or the origin of the coordinates. So when we are dealing with the small areas, we can, we can treat this as a tangential plane. And for that tangential plane, the origin is based upon where that uh, tangential, tangential plane is touching uh, the, the surface of the Earth. And the north direction is considered as northings, and east direction is considered as eastings. And for example, this this particular point will be 4.5 northings and 2.5 eastings. In case of spherical coordinates or longitude and latitude, the there are two reference lines, and their intersection is the origin. The longitudinal reference line is called the prime meridian, and it's a line that passes through uh, Greenwich uh, in um, UK. And this was a standard that was set a um, long time ago, and it is still prevailing. This is our zero longitude. And likewise, the zero latitude is the equatorial plane. And the intersection of meridional plane and the uh, equatorial plane, uh, or the prime meridional and equatorial plane, is where our origin lies, and we measure from this point. So, if we were measuring some specific geographic coordinates, we can measure them uh, using degree, degrees, minutes, and seconds units, or decimal degree units. The directions of these uh, measurements can be used uh, measured using letters, for example, east or west, north or south, or also can be used, uh, uh, can be expressed using sign, for example, plus or minus. So in this case, this point is minus 65 degrees or 25, um, uh, minus 65 degrees longitude and 25 degrees latitude. And I'm not specifying north, uh, north here or west here because the sign is automatically telling me that I'm going westwards. Here, positive sign is telling me I'm going northwards. Now, if I don't use the signs, then I will have to say west 65 degrees and north 25 degrees. Now, in order to get a better understanding of these uh, conventions, see figure 2.0. Uh, nine and related text in the Bolstad book. Um, I expect you to see this on your own and make sure that you understand what are the correct conventions of expressing longitudes and latitudes.